G'day, I'm Luke from Drifter. Today I'm going to show you a quick video of the kitchen we've got in our Dot Tourer. Okay, and also a couple of tips we've got for uh, helping to keep the kitchen bench height a little bit lower. Now with the Dot we've gone spring over axle, okay, for better ground clearance. But one disadvantage of that is it makes a higher base and the kitchen can get a little bit too high. So it's a fairly common problem on trails these days where the kitchen just sitting a little bit too high. So we'll show you that. Okay, so for the Tourer, okay, um, it's pretty much what we call a DPOR package deal, which is a drifter pullout with return kitchen. The package deal incorporates the tucker box and also the storage box. Now, in the storage box as well, we've got what we call the front drawers. Okay, so in the front section of that, we've got some drawers in here as well. Now first up the tucker box, that just lifts out, that's really good for fruit and vegetables, fruit and veggies, okay, got air holes on the sides, and just a really handy box for all your perishables. The kitchen comes out next, okay, now you'll see here this is the skid that the kitchen slides on, that simply slides on the floor of the trailer, and watch what happens at the end. We've cut it off on a 45 degree angle, and it just drops down like that. Okay, and what that does is lets you drop the height down. Okay, so what you do is pull the legs down, and you can see how in this section here it just drops the height down. That'll drop it down an inch and a half. So that's helped a little bit straight away. Now to fold the return now, you lift it off. This section folds around, and the front lifts up, comes out, and that connects in there. So just hold this about level. Alright, and that'll drop those legs to the ground. Now normally, you can see this section here, normally that return will sit on there like that. But on this one we've got it sitting a little bit lower. And again, you can see the effect of that. We've dropped that down about two inches there, which means this return bench is a lot lower and a lot more comfortable. It's not too bad with your stove here, okay, if you're just cooking on that, if that's a little bit higher. But particularly to have this return bench lower, it makes all the difference. Okay, so you can see that there, we've got these red stoves are really good, the red Primus high output two burner. We're using a lot of those. <coughs> and matching with two of the collapsible tubs, is perfect, so those fold out like that. There's a lot of camper trials on the market, uh, a lot of expensive ones worth 50, 60,000 uh, bucks, but none of them have got a kitchen as good as that. You've got lots of bench space, you've got space either side of your stove, you've got lots of storage, okay? A lot of kitchens on the market really are only about that deep. A lot of the ones that pull out of a, you know, the side of a hard floor camper, they're quite shallow, there's three nice thick drawers, and you've got a cupboard on the end there as well. Okay, <clears throat> the storage box, it pulls out, you can access all your gear from there, so you can pull that right out. Before we fold this return out, okay, I can pull this storage box right out. Uh, chairs and a few things like that will come out, and we won't need to, to use that space again until we pack up. When you are camping, you can still pull it out three quarters of the way. Now the advantage of the drawers in the front, uh, we use mostly like a pantry. You just come forward and have a look at that. So nice drawers, you can fill that up full of food, okay, and we've got a little divider there. But basically when we're travelling and camping, this will be full of food. So you know, if you're going for a week or two weeks camping trip, a tucker box and the cupboard is just not really enough space to carry all your food, okay. So that's where the, the pantry in the front of here comes in. If you wanted to grab something out, you don't have to pull the whole drawer out. You can just pull the drawer open. Now the other thing we've done on this trailer as well is to get this storage box sliding really nicely, you can see that there, we've put some plastic Teflon on the floor. Now you might have seen with our drawers how we've got 
a Teflon strip on the bottom of the drawer and also in the carcass. So the drawers for a four-wheel drive are running Teflon on Teflon. Okay. Well, a lot of camping trailers have got a checker plate floor or uh, quite a harsh or a sharp or a rough floor. And then the skids on here don't run as well as what they should do. Now, most trailers, you know, have got a nice floor like this where it's painted or powder coated these days and they'll run beautifully. Okay, but if you've got a fairly um, a rough floor, an older trailer, and your storage box is not running like that, nice and smooth, then this is what you can do. Okay, just come and have a look at this. We've just screwed down a piece of 6mm of the plastic Teflon, okay, not under the kitchen, just under the storage box. The kitchen, you'll see, you only really pull that out once when you, for, for the, the camping trip. Um, you're not pulling it in and out all the time, but the storage box comes in and out. So We've got a 6mm piece of Teflon, that can screw down to the trailer, screw to the floor of the trailer. You can see here, just using some countersunk metal screws. And then you're running Teflon on Teflon, the same as our drawer systems. Um, now when that storage box is full of gear, it'll still slide beautifully, the same as our drawer systems. Okay, so I'll quickly pack this away as well, show you how easy it is to fold up your kitchen. Now the whole kitchen there stores all of your equipment inside as well, so you don't have to go transferring your, your gear somewhere else. Once you've washed up, it all goes back in its place. There's plenty of room for all your storage, for all your cooking equipment. The lid sits up there. The front goes on there. Now we're just going to lift it up here, give it a bit of a push. Once you've got it halfway, then you can release the leg. Slide him away and the tucker box as well. And it's simple as that. Now if you've already got one of our kitchens and your trailer was a little bit high, then you could yourself cut the back of the skids off on a 45 degree angle. And if you wanted to as well, you could in fact do this small modification as well. Um, you have to cut 30 mils off the front of the, of the return and screw on another one of these. You'd already have one up here, but we could send you another one of these and you could screw it down a bit lower and you could make that return sit lower. The other thing you have to do is the leg goes vertical have to chop a little bit of that off as well. But if you're a little bit handy with some tools, it wouldn't be hard to do those modifications yourself if you've already got one of our kitchens. If you're ordering one of our kitchens and your trailer's fairly high, then just let us know and we can do those mods for you. All right, so, I might also show you while we're here, um, you know, we've been advertising these dot trailers for a little while and we've just actually started manufacturing them. So the factory you see around you here has just been opened uh, last week really and we're just about to finish our first trailer. So quite exciting for us. Um, let's come in and we'll give you a quick look. Yeah, come Monday, it's of course, like all our factories, a hive of activity. Um, we've got a, a guillotine here, and um, so we're doing all the sheet metal work ourselves. A lot of trailer companies will buy a body kit um, and buy in a lot of the parts, um, but we're manufacturing them all ourselves. So we've got a guillet there, and a two and a half metre handbrake here, so we can fold all of our sections ourselves. Um, over here, just got our little drop saw. And you know, nice roller bench. We've got all our steel up here behind us. So we've had to build this factory ourselves. Been a lot of work over the last three or four months. We're not quite finished yet. Still some bits and pieces to finish. Um, we've got our drill press here. We've got a little punching machine here. Some nice benches. Very important, of course, like all of our factories, is to 
be very organised and uh, well set up. Got a nice um, Tempe welder um, and we've got the remote head on it. So that's on that's on a big overhead sort of swinging gantry. So we can sort of uh, cover anywhere we need to. Yeah, so now this is a frame here. Everything's on trolleys of course. This is uh, the jig for the chassis. Um, we've got the jig here for the stone guard. This is the jig for the top frame. And here's the trailer here. This is our number one trailer. Um, we've so far sold uh, 18 trailers, so this would be the 19th one. Um, and the first one we built ourselves. So it's all been finished. We're just prepping it up ready for spraying. Um, you can see we've got it on a, on a rotisserie. We can move that around, um, turn it up upside down on the side, and that's how we build the frame there. You can see the guards, the front and rear panels, we've folded all that ourselves. Uh, we've got these little boxes that go in there. Yeah, we're not making those ourselves, getting those from Diamond Tea made in Brisbane. Uh, a lot of work in folding that uh, and you need an aluminium welder as well, so we're buying those in. Everything else we're making ourselves. So that's the metal fabrication side of it. Around here, here's the tile gate. We've just finished spraying that. Um, that's the first one as well. We've got a spray booth in here. So the booth's not quite finished. That's the top frame, we've finished that one. Um, yeah, sort of lights and a little bit to go in the booth. There's going to be a door here, so that's going to be a noisy, dirty area, and this would be the clean area for where we're going to fit out the trailers. Um, so you can see here, we've got another trailer here ready to fit out. It takes us a couple of days to put the tent on, kitchen in, uh, all the electrics, the toolbox, um, finish it off, and all the mods that we do. So you can see we've got some nice racks and a nice area to work in. Um, and this is where we do all the electrics. So we build up all the, the inside of the toolbox where you've got the actuators um, and those sort of things. So around here, a bit of a mess, but um, still working on this. Got some stairs going in here. And this is going to be the showroom area. So I'm going to have my trailer set up here. Um, we've got a bit of an opening here, you can see, where we can set the tent up. We've got a uh, smoker room, toilets over there, and this will be a little showroom for the trailer and some of the kitchens. So if people are coming in to have a look, we've got a nice area for them to see. They can see the trailer's being put together, and um, you know the, the fabrication will be just next door. Um, we've got some space up top. We're going to be doing some. We'll have an industrial sewing, industrial sewing machine up here that we can um, use to. We won't be making the tent or anything like that. It's quite specialised for the tent. But we will be modifying and doing some of the side walls and the covers and bits and pieces like that. So um, up the top here is some storage as well. So I'll give you a quick look outside. Okay, so behind me is our new dot factory. Uh, 30 metres long. And um, yeah, it's only just been finished. We've done all the earthworks. It's been a uh, big job here the last few months. And... Um, Pretty much it's finished, so that's it all there. Over here you can see Beachy's factory for the drawers. We built all that last year, so yeah, we've been pretty busy. Um, so that's where we build all the drawers. We've got the Snow Peak showroom over there. A little shed for me and Kaido over there. And through the back here is the kitchen factory. So that's our original factory we started with. Built all the kitchens for the camping trailers and uh, the storage boxes and um, yeah, so that's a drift uh, business uh, and a bit, of a bit of a look around the, the factory and um, yeah, thanks very much.